After the success of Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence and Francis Lawrence have joined forces yet again for Red Sparrow. Based on a book that came out in 2013, the story revolves around this ballerina, Dominique, played by uh, Jennifer Lawrence. She is doing really well for the Bolshoi Ballet. She is, is the star attraction. And during a, a show, she breaks a leg. And it's a career-defining moment. This is going to stop her from being the career that she's wanted her whole life. Dominique's uncle comes into the picture and it turns out that he's high up in the Soviet government, uh, particularly the spy kind of sector it seems, and he uses his niece to go into covert operations. She kind of forces her into a corner, puts her into a spy school where she learns uh, various things. It's, they're called Sparrows, hence the title of the movie, and they learn how to seduction, how to give people what they want, how to manipulate people, how to manipulate situations and think several steps ahead of everybody else. They don't really train them in gunplay or fighting, they just really train them in smart warfare, so to speak, you know, how to outsmart the opposition. Then you have Joel Edgerton's character of Nash, who is a, a government agent that's cover has been blown. He is somebody that has been handling a high-powered asset and that asset will only talk to him and they engage Dominica to sort of work Nash over and try and get the information about who this mole is. That's the basic premise of the movie and going into the movie I was in two minds about what I was going to get. Was I going to get something like Salt or maybe Atomic Blonde but it turns out to be much more of a sort of espionage movie. There's not a lot of action set pieces, there's not a lot of fight scenes, it's more about the mystery and the duality of the character of Dominica, which is what kept me going throughout the movie. I, I saw this, this woman who kind of lost her dream, forced into a corner and forced to be and do something that she didn't want to do or to be, and she had to work that situation around to make it work for her, so she could help her mother who was ill and so she could just survive. And all the way through the movie, down to Jennifer Lawrence's performance, I was never quite sure if she was going to turn against the Soviets or whether she was working for them or whether she believed in the whole indoctrination that she had been put through. And that's what really kept me going because I was constantly twisting and turning. Is she with the Americans? Is she with the Soviets? What's happening here? And it's down to Lawrence's performance, like I said. She has that kind of wide eye naivety that makes you think as if she's shocked at what situation she's in, as if she doesn't know how to handle it. But behind the eyes you can kind of see the machinations going over of somebody who's thinking out all the angles here. I loved that performance, I loved the things that she was doing during the movie and I found it quite entertaining. Now the movie does have several scenes of indoctrination like I said. They to go to this sparrow school and they really try to strip away any parts of personality to make them devious, to take down their boundaries and it can be rather shocking but I found it was a necessary uh, scenes to allow Dominica to fake how to per be perceived in amongst this army. She's trying to hold back a, a piece of herself to keep herself still who she is without being a mindless automaton for this Red Army. There was lots of things about Red Sparrow that I liked. It's not a movie that I think I'm going to go back to again and again, but as a first time watch, I found it rather enjoyable. And this seems to be a movie that's getting a lot of hate, and I could probably see why it's getting it, but I found it to keep me guessing, it kept me excited and tense as to what was going to happen next. Was she going to get caught? Was she going to get beaten, murdered? What was really happening? It felt as if there was real weight in some of the scenes. And usually when you have a movie with two big actors in it, you kind of know that they're safe. This didn't have that. I had a level of threat all the way through it. There are some other side actors who do fantastic performances as well. And overall, I had a lot of fun with Red Sparrow. More than I was expecting to have. I gave it three and a half out of five. I found it a fun, enjoyable, tense movie that kept me in the edge of my seat as to what was going on, which is good because usually with the film-centric brain you can kind of figure some of these things out. Not so much in this movie. I'd love to know your thoughts on Red Sparrow. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.